Hi everyone and welcome to our very first SGPC Online Sunday Serve Is. Now, Serve Is is a play on, again, the word service, and so this is where we wanted to really explore the idea of serving others in our community and um, what it really means and what it looks like. So during this time um, where we can't be serving others, um, it's a perfect opportunity to really get to the heart of service, get to the heart of worship through service. Um, and I just think of Colossians 3.23, which says, do, you think, do all things as if unto the Lord and not to men. Um, now, when I think about that verse, um, something Josie and I were talking about is just um, what it means to serve and where it's supposed to come from, which is, it's an overflow of our relationship with Jesus. It's truly to come from that love for the Lord, that love for what He loves, for whom He loves, um, which is those around us. And we can't even get to that point until we really look at our relationship with God and who, um, who, knowing who He even is. And so um, this week's um, theme for Sunday Serve is, is identity discovered. Um, our heart for this, um, this time and this sharing is to really uh, remember what the heart of serving is, which is, again, um, just knowing your identity in Christ. Uh, so we wanted to read to you, or we want you to read, John 12, um, verses 1 through 8. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus lived, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. Here a dinner was given in Jesus' honor. Martha served while Lazarus was among those reclining at the table with him. Then Mary took about a pint of pure nard, an expensive perfume. She poured it on Jesus' feet and wiped his feet with her hair and the house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, who was later to betray him, objected. Why wasn't this perfume sold and the money given to the poor? It was worth a year's worth of wages. He did not say this because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. As keeper of the money bag, he used to help himself to what was put into it. Leave her alone, Jesus replied. It was intended that she would save this perfume for the day of my burial. You will always have the poor among you, but you will not always have me. Now, when I look at that passage and um, just really reflect on it and um, think about what it is that Mary did, um, right? She poured a whole year's worth. So wherever you are in life, whatever your salary is, it's your entire, your entire earnings of all the jobs you have or just the one job you have. It's all of that. She gave it to the Lord and poured it on his feet. Um, when I see that, it's kind of crazy, right? It's like, oh my gosh, first of all, that perfume is so expensive. And second of all, I can't believe you just dumped it on his feet. And to some of us, it may, it may sound um, kind of foolish because it's like, wow, that was so expensive. Like you could have done so much good with that, right? But um, I think the point is seeing what Mary did do with it, right? She used it to honor the Lord. She wanted to give her everything to Jesus because she knew he was worth it. She knew how great he was. And um, I think that's the whole point of our, of me and Josie's thought process. And as we were praying, what we felt like God was telling us is look back at me, um, see that the whole point, right, of, of Jesus saving us from our sins was to have that relationship with um, God once again. It was to know him, to be his children, to come at his feet. And while serving others is supposed to be that overflow, right? Um, it first starts with that intimacy with God, the whole purpose of um, just being able to know him. That's where our joy is. That's where our rest is. And when we serve from that, that's what shows. And so we really wanted to encourage you to really think about where are you in your life and how have you seen who Jesus is and how have you um, experienced that greatness of having intimacy with God, with wanting to give Him your all. Um, when we serve out of that heart, burnout doesn't happen or tiredness doesn't happen. We serve with joy because we know that all that we're doing, it's out of that love for God versus I have to do it or if I don't do it, no one else will. Or um, this is just my duty, right? Um, while it is partially what our calling is um, to serve others, to share the gospel, um, the first and foremost, our first thing is to, um, to love our God with all our heart, soul, and mind. And so we challenge you um, for today's Sunday serve is to really think about that. Um, how 
Do you maybe need to remember where your identity is by sitting at the feet of the Lord, by um, lavishing all that you have upon God and just taking in all that he is. Um, he's even greater than that super expensive perfume, right? He's worth everything. Um, and so we challenge you with that um, to reflect on it, to see how, how maybe you needed the reminder that Jesus is worth everything, that this relationship with Jesus, um, that's the foundation of serving. That's the foundation of what we do here on this, on this earth. It's from what Jesus has done and that relationship that we are now blessed to have with God each and every day. Um, and with that, we also hope that you can talk about this with your community group. So our encouragement is that you will share with um, others, take that braveness, that courage to share truly how you're feeling. Um, if maybe you you needed to remember to sit at his feet and that it's hard, um, share that so others can pray for you. And if that's been something you've truly been doing, that um, you've seen the joy of serving others because of your personal walk with the Lord, then share that. Encourage others with that testimony too in how God's been the one who's been the source of what you've do been doing or you are doing currently. Um, so yeah, we really hope that this can be an encouraging conversation starter and also something for you to be thinking about and journaling about and really reflecting on. Um, please reread John chapter 12 verses 1 through 8 or um, think about those other verses that perhaps um, are in your um, you know, Bible arsenal right, of verses that you can um, just recall in times that you need it. Um, so yes, we pray that you will really just take this week to sit at his feet, to hear from the Lord and to restore that relationship and have that firm understanding of who you are, your identity in Jesus. All right. See you next week. Bye.